contractors, contractors. All right, Tuesday's Q&A. Brian Adams here, the contractor's contractor. Master your business, dominate your trade, kick your competition's ass. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's election day. Woo! Three o'clock on the West Coast. That means it's six o'clock on the East Coast. I think the uh, polls should be closing pretty soon. I'm going to get off of here and uh, jump online with PBD. They got a big event going, big event. Uh, hey, today in the Q&A, going to talk about, uh, answer the questions, how can I improve my visibility on Google business profile, Google Maps, uh, best way to get positive Google reviews and keep them coming in. And someone asked how to handle client expectations. And then uh, Charlie asked uh, a whole bunch of good questions. I almost changed the whole freaking platform today. <clears throat> um, so we'll get to Charlie's next week. It was about uh, the intro video on your website, uh, how long it should be, what should be in it. Uh, how many video something testimonials or content videos should be on your website. Um, so we'll go over that next week. Uh, let's dive in. Say hello. Uh, ask your questions. I'll get to them. I don't know, maybe I'll breeze through these and, and uh, jump in there and, and get to some of those questions that, that Charlie was answering. Uh, how can I improve my visibility on Google business profile, Google Maps? Whew, that's actually one of the uh, lesson plans that we have in our community. Uh, master your business, dominate your your trade. Uh, man, I don't know. We got probably a couple of hours just on that topic. But just to uh, to touch on them as one, honestly, I mean, you got to pay me. You got to pay somebody to do backlinks and citations and geo tagging and uh, a bunch of other SEO BS that ends up making like a spider's web with your uh, NAP. You got to get that man, NAP, N-A-P, name, address, phone number. You can add the other stuff, email links and all Facebook links, to, you know, Instagram links, website links, but it's name, address, phone number plastered all over the internet in different places so that's what we mean when we say backlinks and citations and mentions in other people's uh groups and stuff uh i mean and, and i could do it but it would take me a week to do what the guys that work for me do uh you know in, in a couple of days probably take me like two weeks and it's and it's just tedious stupid just uh work that I don't want to do. Uh, but I mean, there are, you know, you can get online and learn how to do it. And it's just, you know, it's, it's just a lot of uh, logging in and putting in the name, address, phone number, all this other stuff. But uh, that's huge. But you've got to uh, what, what we call optimize your Google business profile, meaning when someone makes me a manager or makes our, our, my company a manager of their Google business profile, the first thing we do is start going in and we make sure that everything is optimized, meaning we go through everything, making sure all the forms are filled out. Uh, if it says use up to 150 characters or 150 words, we try to use 150 words, um, making sure that all, you know, uh, all your services that you 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 perform and uh, that's all there uh, we go in make sure that your your areas that you work in the zip codes and stuff we fill that up i think it's up to like 20 of them um all of that so if you just like your 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 times um uh and it's not like just 24 hours a day seven days a week that, that actually works in a negative uh you know do legitimate hours, man. And you'll get like right now, everybody should have been getting emails from Google business profile saying up, you know, make sure your Google business, Google maps is, uh, you know, schedule is updated. Are you open on Thanksgiving? Go in there and fix that shit. Uh, yeah, we're open, you know, half a day or no, we're closed for Thanksgiving, you know, but, uh, 
And then if you work Saturdays, you know, put in there, you know, your hours on Saturday. Uh, I mean, if, yeah, it's just like, because, and that's why Google got so damn strict over these last couple of years and why it's hard to get different companies uh, verified and stuff. It is, there is no lying to Google. There is no backdoor deals. It's like, all you're going to do is get blackballed. And trust me, man, then it's a pain in the ass. Uh, your website won't be able to be found on Google. Your definitely ain't gonna be, your Google business won't be found. Uh, they'll probably shut down your YouTube. It's like Google don't want you misleading people. It's just be freaking honest. Um, so yeah, so Mike, making sure that everything is optimized. Um, uh, you got to post daily, do your before and after pictures, um, and do them both. I mean, I guess do like the before pictures, post those on your Google business because the more pictures you have, it, it, it's not going to hurt you. Uh, we used to have to go in and geo tag everything. So it was like, you know, located to your areas. Now, if you're using any kind of smartphone, uh, your pictures are being geo tagged anyway. Uh, I use, but your pictures, you definitely want, and I use, what did I use? Yeah, it's called Polish, P-O-L-I-S-H. Uh, yeah, so I just, uh, you know, I just hit collage, whatever the hell that word is right there. Uh, allow. And then, uh, you pick the pictures. What if I have any in here? I can go to my pictures and show you. But is you want the before and after pictures? Like, uh, and that's just a real easy. And there's a thousand apps to help you do it. That's just the one that I chose. But updating pictures, pictures on your websites. Even when I'm building guys or we're building people's websites, as they send me a bunch of after pictures, and I'm like, dude. These are useless. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, this beautiful floor, man. That's a beautiful house we painted. That's a beautiful the tile job we just did, man. That's just man, that deck. You should have seen it beforehand. I'm like, yeah, I want to see it beforehand. <laughs> it's like I don't want to see the after picture. It doesn't doesn't make the connection. It doesn't show what we need to, what we needed to show. And even the before and after pictures, they have to be like right next to each other. That's why I want them connected. I want it to be one picture. Uh, so there is no freaking uh, guessing. Collection on this device. Let's see. Oh, man, I'm trying to show. I want to show you, like, on this device. Here we go. Because even on my uh, phone, it should have the polish. Yeah, see right here it says polish backup off. I don't know why the hell it's off. It, there it is, right there, to the left. But I click on it, and it shows you all the before and after pictures, so that we can. It, they don't have to guess at it. Boom. Uh, boom. And that one didn't have it because normally I we have the before and after written. You know. It's written there before, after, uh, and before, after. And when I'm taking the pictures, I usually like to take, so you can see that it's uh, the same stuff in the background, whether it's a, a doorway or a, a, a plug or a window or fireplace or something. So they just know without even knowing they look at it and they go, Oh man, look at that before and after. And they can tell, uh, but then, you know, and all of that, it's like, you just click on that little app before boom, do the other one after, and you can switch it around high and low side by side. But those, you want those, uh, posted every day, every day. <laughs> it's like a couple of times a day. Um, that's pictures. You can do updates, uh, if not daily, Three times a week, meaning, uh, you know, write a little paragraph about something. Uh, how to wash the walls on a freshly painted room without, you know, doing something. Or how to get marker off of the wall. How to, you know, the best 
caulking to use around windows versus around a bathtub, uh, anything, uh, educational uh, good stuff. Uh, in those little articles, that little paragraph, uh, you need to use your keywords and keyword phrases if you can. You don't, what we call stuff, uh, like if you're refinishing hardwood floors, you just don't want to write refinish hardwood floor, refinish hardwood floor, refinish hardwood floor. That's just stupid. And Google, again, will strike negative stuff about you. Um, but in your descriptions, uh, you, you want to uh, use keywords. That's why, like, uh, when someone first signs up with us, uh, it's a lot of freaking research that we have to do. Their area, their competition. Uh, keywords, keyword phrases, how, how many go to Google. Google will tell you how many times that word or those that phrase is, is searched on Google in that area, uh, you know, each month. And then just a lot that goes into it. And then uh, those are the words and phrases and stuff that we want to use in Google Maps and in YouTube, on the website, all that stuff. Uh, answering, um, I'm going to save this one because it's, it goes to the question number two. Uh, Q&A is huge. I just can't get contractors to do it uh, unless they're part of my program. And I'm like, that's no, man, that's your fucking homework. Do it. Uh, and we can and I'll help you do it. I'll do it. Uh, but you got to because people are constantly going to Google and asking questions. Um, how much does it cost to paint a house? How much is it the, the plumbing? How much is it to refinish the wood floor? Is it cheaper to install new flooring versus old, you know, refinishing an old floor? How much, you know, it's like everything. They're always asking questions. You go to Google and you ask one question about your trade. Uh, Google will give you the answer and it's not Google giving you the answer. It's someone like you writing it in their website or on their article or in their blog or on their Google business profile. Uh, uh, Google don't write shit. It's just taking it off of the internet and answering that question. You need to be the one answering those questions. But if you ask one question, you scroll down and Google's going to say, here's what other homeowners are asking also. And there will be four or five other questions. Click on one and then go backwards. The four questions will have turned into six questions. Click on one, go backwards. The six questions will have turned into nine questions. Click on one, go backwards. You're up to like 15 questions. You can do that all day. You will have a, an unlimited amount of questions uh, about your trade, your industry that people are going to Google and asking. Uh, and you need to answer all of them. Uh, and, you know, so you do the question in Google business uh, and then you answer it. Pro tip, pro hack. Uh, what else do they call it? It's the, the crap, the stuff. But uh, is have friends, family members, anybody have them log into Google, meaning just go to Google, uh, go to your, you know, find you own the internet, your Google business profile, uh, go to your Google business profile and have them ask the question because it looks like someone in the internet world uh, has went to Google and found your business profile and is now asking you a question. Uh, and you want to do like that one a month. Uh, just, you know, send them the question, say, hey, man, go to my Google business profile, ask this question. And then you go in there and you answer it in detail. Uh, all the other questions, I ain't going to get into it, but all those questions you can write articles about. They could be blogs. Uh, they can be vlogs. Uh, but they all should be answered. You should answer them with YouTube videos, a whole, uh, whole bunch of stuff. Th those could be Q&As on your website eventually. There's just always something to be doing. So that's how you're going to rank and uh, visibility on the Google business profile. Uh, the backlinks, the citations, the SEO, the other crap. I mean, it's, it's huge. Uh, another one is, hang on. Got several eyeballs watching this right now. Who's watching? Did you vote today? Did you vote today? You don't have to tell me who you voted for, but uh, get out and vote. Uh, 
yeah, another big one, pro tip, uh, hack, whatever the heck you want to call it, is um, is uh, wherever you're at in the world, every day, a couple of times a day maybe, uh, and have your friends do it, your wife do it, your kids do it. But go to Google Maps and search your own business and hit directions and then follow the directions over there because you're going back to the office anyway, or friends are driving by or any of that stuff uh, makes a big difference. So do that. Uh, so that's enough. But join the program. Uh, master your business, dominate your trade. Uh, if you don't have the link, look it up. Yeah, it's on the new platform school over 40 hours of training videos couple of those hours uh, are, you know, how to rank your Google business profile. Uh, so moving in, I, I added this one because the uh, question number two was best way to get positive Google reviews uh, and keep them coming in. And that was what I also wanted to say for, you know, ranking and showing up is when you do get a review, good or bad, go in and respond to it and again use the keywords the keyword phrases uh i'll just use my daughter's company uh hey ryan thank you for the uh the kind words man here at only wood only uh, only wood floors uh, we take you know pride and pleasure in refinishing wood floors especially old hardwood flooring like your house and yours was exceptional because it didn't and we'll just describe what we did because in the description I'll be able to use the words again I will even I may even put in there like what we did and the, and the procedure because uh, we sanded blah 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 with a certain type of machine maybe it's a homo and a grade and we use the loba finish or the pro code or the bona uh, and the refinishing and the screen uh, all of that stuff uh just don't go in there and say thank you uh, when, or don't respond at all. Again, because when Internet world people, which are Google's clients, anybody goes to Google and they and they reach out to you for any reason, questions or reviews. Google likes to see you have that interaction. Uh, we actually have a lot of yeah we, have, yeah, we have a lot of people that contact us through Google, through text messages or and not even text message, but they'll just ask the questions. Are you over there? And then can we get a sentence like and they go back and forth and and that's uh, we still try to follow our same procedure. I was like, I will like because if they respond to us on Google Maps, we respond back to them on Google Maps. But we ask them, you know, give us a call so we can reach out. We can set up an appointment. But and but then here's our standard boom. It, the same text message email that we send to everybody we put it right there which is our procedure our prices all this other stuff uh but so that's answering the questions uh the reviews once you get them so you gotta do that but how do you get the reviews you ask all the time you ask all the time uh when you show up to give the estimate you talk about the reviews and how important it is. And did did you read our reviews? We've got this many reviews. And at the end of this, we're going to bend over backwards to make sure you're ecstatic because we want you to leave one of those reviews. Boom. Talked about it there throughout the job. You're going to be talking about it at the end. You're going to make it easy. Uh, say, like, hey, pull you, if, if you can't pull your phone up, oh, boom, I just sent you a text. Yeah, that's the, that's the link. You can go ahead and click on that. If you have pictures, uh, upload those for us and, you know, just, you know, leave us a five star review and say something nice. Uh, if you're there, uh, you just got to do it. And then if they're not there when you're, you're, you're doing the walkthrough or whatever, uh, that same afternoon, the very next day, boom. Hey, Ryan, it was a pleasure working for you guys. You know, uh, hope you're happy. Reach out to us. If you have any questions, boom, but here's a link, please leave us a review, blah, 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 all of that. Uh, wait a couple of days if they haven't left it do it again another way is uh there's a lot of program like bird's eye and different ones that uh the app automatically sends that kind of stuff we're actually the new websites that we're building uh have that built that feature built in to where uh the ai on the uh, website 
reaches out to the homeowner after the job is done for reviews. And again, you got to follow up. Don't, you know, you know, don't rely on the AI. Don't rely on the computer. Don't rely on the app. Make sure you get those reviews. A great way to do it is uh, offering like a $20, $25 bonus to any of the uh, your project managers or employees, what, whoever the heck it is, that get the review. Say, hey, man, it's like any homeowner that you can satisfy enough that they, they leave us a review. Here's the link so you can make sure that they have it because the employees, one, they're the ones they're doing the work, man. They're on their hands and knees. They're they're masking stuff off. They're sanding the walls. They're doing the plumbing, whatever, man. They're there and the homeowners see them busting their ass. So when that person at the end of it goes, man, it really means a lot and it'll make me look good uh, if you can leave us a review and you can kind of mention my name. Uh, homeowners, man, it just for whatever reason, homeowners really want to do it for, for those people more than the owner of the company or the sales rep or whoever the hell it is. Uh, and then they get the, you know, $20, $25 bonus. Uh, so that's a great way to do it. It doesn't make it look like you begging, let the, <laughs> let the employees beg. One more question. What we got? How long we been on here? Uh, 21 minutes. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Got to get on. Got to get on. It's PBD. Mm. Uh, last one. How to handle client expectations. Man, it's a big one. Uh, God, you know, I may do a whole hour, two hour training just on this and upload it to the classroom. But it really is education. Education, the YouTube videos. Uh, if you were on the, if you came to one of the consultations slash estimates that I give, you would almost think I'm trying to talk the homeowner out of doing the friggin' job. Because I'm telling them all the cr the bad stuff that can happen. Uh, same with uh, Master Your Business, Dominate Your Trade, or the Rapid Results Coaching that I do uh, with contractors. Not that I'm trying to talk them out of it, but I'm telling these guys uh, just because they sign up and hire, you know, us, the company. Uh, it's a lot of work for the contractor. I, we're, I'm doing a lot of work. My guys are doing a lot of work. And it's a lot of work for you as the contractor. And I make that shit clear uh, because it is. And I ain't blowing no smoke up nobody's ass. Uh, and I'll only do one or two reach outs to contractors. And my sales buddies in these marketing groups that I'm with and other people, it's like, man, you got to follow up. You got to follow up. You got to follow up. You got to do this. You got to send them the email. You got to call them again. You got to get some sales reps and let these sales reps, guys, uh, man, you know how important your program is for these contractors and buy. And, and if you don't really, you know, talk them into that sale and get them to close it and boom, 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 get that credit card, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, man, no, no, that, that shit. <sighs> It, I mean, it, it, it is in, in a lot of ways that, that really is how you build a business for sure, especially if you sell an insurance and doing, you know, just a, a lot of other stuff. Uh, but I ain't doing this for the money, one. And then two is if I've got to pull you across the line to convince you to sign up for rapid results coaching, we don't need to work together because that means if I've got to call you three or four, five, six times to get you to sign up. Hey man, did you get the email? You know, click that link, go ahead and, and re register, you know, get that, uh, you know, get, get the sign up fee going so we can start working on your website and make me manager of your, your Google business profile, make us manager of your YouTube channel. We want to get this thing rolling. Okay. Okay. A couple of days go by. Hey Ryan, Hey man, uh, still waiting on you to, uh, uh, click that link and go ahead and, 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 uh, get that, get that registration fee down, brother. We got to get this thing busy. No, man, no, 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 <laughs> no, because if it's, if I got to work that effing hard to get you to sign up for a program that's going to make you millions of dollars, yes, millions of fucking dollars, uh, then I'm going to have to work that fucking hard to get you to do the shit that you need to do to build your business. And I ain't, no, just no, just, no. I already told you, man, time is the only thing of value. Uh, and when you hit a certain age, you realize how valuable it is and how, uh, and how much of it you don't have. 
And I ain't going to be sitting here with contractors bugging them. Hey, man, send me send me those videos. Send me those videos. Hey, man, send me those before and after pictures. Hey, did you upload stuff to Google Business today? Hey, man, come on. And it's like, no, man. Uh, first couple of calls, like I do, I may do two. I usually only do one call with a, a contractor, explain what it is that we do and how we do it. Uh, but the biggest thing is I tell them is I cannot want your success more than you want it. And I want it bad, trust me, because I know the difference that it makes in generations to come, not just for you, but when you start changing mentally and you grow your business, you change and everything in your life changes and everything from, from you, you, you break cycles in generations, man. I know I did uh, and I've seen other contractors do it is, but everything changes and uh, your kids' lives will be different. Uh, their conversations will be different. Their friends will be different. Their lives will be different. And then their kids and kids will be different because they're going to do better than you did. And then their kids are going to be doing better than they did. Uh, so, so I know all of that shit. And I try to tell them, like, look, man, so you've got to want it. You've got to want it more than I want it. And I want it bad. <laughs> but I ain't going to effing, like, when it becomes too much work for me, I'll cut you off and fire your ass. I don't need your money. You need to do this stuff. I can't, I can't do your push-ups for you. I say all that shit over and over again. Uh, but back to the whole how to ha handle the client's expectations. It's it's that right there, man. I'm telling you. Every, what I'm telling you right now as, as, as a business coach uh, is I'm telling you how hard it's going to be. I'm telling you this and this is going to happen and that's going to happen and uh, we'll have some weeks that are really good. We'll have some months that are great. We'll, and then we'll, it's, it's going it, to, it's going to be the up and the downs, all of that stuff. I'm, I'm preparing you for life. I'm preparing you for this journey of building your business. It's the same way when I go in with a homeowner as I'm educating them. Uh, and I've got, I don't know, close to a, oh, maybe over a thousand videos on our YouTube channel. So they know I ain't just making this shit up. I'm like, look, it's like, because a lot of times, you know, when something goes wrong on a job and you start explaining to the homeowner what happened, it's like, they're like, oh, no, you're just making shit up now <laughs> because you didn't warn them about it in advance. And that's why, like, it, it it may sound like I'm trying to talk to homeowner out of doing the job because I'm telling them all the bad shit. So when something does go wrong and hopefully it doesn't, but when it does, this is, you know, we live on Earth. Uh, I can easily say, hey, Ryan, man, we, we talked about this the very first day I came over. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that. Yeah. Well, so we're going to fix it. We're going to take care of it. Uh, we're, we're, and we're going to stay on schedule. Uh, but I've also got videos, several of them, of every problem type scenario that can show up. And I'm like, look, man, this ain't the only time this happens. Look, here's a link. Here it is on this job. Boom. Here's another link. Here it is on that job. So, so um, I'm, I'm setting the expectations for the homeowner as low as I can and, and, and get them to go with us. But they, uh, and, and but I'm saying, but this is what we're shooting for, uh, you know, which is high. And then we, we, we try to overcompensate and do even better. And I, uh, I, not every job, but pretty close is, uh, at one time during the job, I'll show up. And now my guys probably do it. I know my daughter does is uh, and say, uh, man, this thing is looking. Oh, my God, this thing is looking good. I mean, I knew it was going to look good. I knew it was going to look good. But if I knew it was going to look this good, I would have charged you double. And uh, and, and and if you knew it was going to look good, you would have been happy to pay double. And, and they're, you know, they're all, you know, uh, maybe not that much. But, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, all of that. So you you manage the client's expectation by setting the expectation uh, before, during, and afterwards. And when something does go wrong, don't let the homeowner be the one to point it out. You need to point it out first because when they have to point it out and bring it up to you, it makes you look stupid, period. It makes you look like you don't know what's going on. Uh, and, then it, and then you're coming up with the excuses of, of why this happened, all of that. But, uh, Boom, there it is. 29, 40, 29 minutes, 40 seconds. This is a 30 minute phone call. So we almost out of here. Uh, Patrick Bet David, value tainment. Get on there and, and uh, he's got a huge election party going on. So uh, any questions, reach out to us. Uh,
you're going to learn more about the rapid results coaching that we do set you up with everything man websites that work the ai the, the callback features that we're doing now uh, help you put your systems together hold you accountable put your feet to the fire you get to be an elite group of other business owners who are in the program we do a monthly group coaching call where it's just a bunch of contractors getting together kind of talking shit, seeing what's going on uh but then you get one-on-one -on -one coaching and you get the weekly follow-up to where you have to check in with me to make sure you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing all right guys i am out of here baby uh man make this the best week ever make today better than yesterday and tomorrow better than today and uh until next week and i think it's thursday uh i start doing that long hour-long podcast interviewing people but man love you guys enjoy it